Les Mills is the latest fitness company to make the jump into virtual reality with their new VR game, Body Combat VR, developed by the studio Otter Games, creators of the rhythm-based O-Shape. Body Combat VR is a mix of shadow boxing and other martial arts and fitness inspired movements that'll have you punching targets and dodging and squatting to avoid barriers, all to the rhythm of each workout's custom playlist and to the encouragement of their instructors. And if this looks similar to Supernatural's boxing workouts, it is, but with some key differences, some for the better and some for the worse. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Colin Jenkins and this is Connect the Watts where we cover the latest connected fitness news, reviews, tips and guides and that definitely includes fitness and VR which we will be covering a lot more of so make sure to hit subscribe so that way you get all the latest reviews and updates. Now one of the biggest differences between Body Combat VR and Supernatural is its price. Body Combat costs around $30 and is a single purchase whereas Supernatural is a subscription based game at around $19 a month. The difference in these pricing models is reflected on what is offered as Body Combat VR comes with just a set of 25 to 30 workouts, whereas Supernatural, since it's a live subscription model, offers at least one new workout pretty much every single day. And so these two games, while similar in many aspects, I feel are meant for very different types of people. If you're someone who plans on working out in VR very frequently, then you'll likely get bored of Body Combat's limited number of classes, and you should probably opt to go with a subscription-based program like Supernatural, which always has something new for you to do. However, if you're somebody like me who does most of their workouts outside of VR, but does like to jump into these games every so often, Personally, I use a lot of them as warm-ups for other workouts. Then for you, the Body Combat VR model might be a lot better since you probably don't wanna pay $19 a month for something that you only use occasionally. And even though there are only a set number of workouts included, those workouts will probably last you a pretty long time. Now, besides having a limited number of classes available, there are a few other things that I really don't like about Body Combat VR. For one, it doesn't feel that great to hit these targets. See, you'll get a better score if you hit a target with more power than if you hit it softly, but the feedback for this seems really off, and I was often left wondering why I wasn't getting a good hit registered. There's not much in the way of vibrational feedback, and you really have to hit the targets at the exact right time to get the higher score, but this timing doesn't always make a lot of sense visually, and it can lead to a lot of frustration when what you are doing doesn't seem to have changed, but now the targets are basically saying that you are hitting them incorrectly. And this is especially true for one of the most fun movements in body combat, which has you grabbing the target and then slamming it against your knee. I actually really loved it when the workouts had this movement, as they feel really great to do when you're are able to connect with the target, but the timing of the hit is so finicky that even with practice, you'll still not be able to register a hit to the target a good amount of the time. And I understand that this might be a skill thing and it'll get better as I continue to improve, but the window to hit it is so small that it really takes away how much fun this movement could feel if you had a little bit more of a timing window open to hit them. Now, another thing that I found a bit lacking was the gamification to help encourage you to keep coming back. And while they allow you to set weekly goals and it'll keep track of your streak in terms of meeting those weekly goals, there's no way to see really which workouts you've previously done or your previous high scores or even your overall leaderboard rank. You can get a faint hint at your progress through the evolution bar, but this is just a line with no numbers to indicate if your efforts are getting better or worse. And there's no challenges or anything to work towards accomplishing. There really just isn't any sort of carrots to chase. There does seem to be a medal system sort of hidden here so that you get medals for getting first, second, or third in a workout, but I believe this is bugged as I only received one silver award after getting second place and I never got a gold for getting first. I mean, just give us some reason to jump back in and make it feel like we're progressing towards a goal as this would really help the game by making me want to come back and repeat the same workouts over and over again. 
They do have a strange leveling up system here, but since your level doesn't mean anything or seem to unlock anything, it seems kind of tacked on as an attempt to gamify things without doing so in any sort of meaningful way. Now, one of the things I do really like here is that in each workout you do, you will be competing against a small group of other players to see who can perform best on the workout. And while I'm fairly confident that these multiplayer lobbies aren't actually real, given how fast they load and the way that their avatars all dance or make strange movements before each workout. So I'm pretty sure these are just ghosts of other players based on their own high scores, but it still helps a ton in providing motivation to do your best on every single workout, as I really did have to fight and push myself to stay near the top of the leaderboard. And this is a feeling I found really lacking in Supernatural, for example, which is a shame because these types of games should definitely be providing this type of competitive experience, which at least for me, makes it a lot more fun. The other thing I really do like about Les Mills Body Combat VR is just the variety of movements they have here. To your regular punches, jabs, uppercuts, to sideways punches, to ground slams, and even what they call VR battle rope, which is basically just you slamming targets below you over and over again. The additional movements really help each workout feel like well, workouts. And finally, I have to mention this. I just love the fact that you can see your shadow on the barriers as you dodge them. It really does help make you feel like you are there in that environment and also works as a tell to let you know if you are completely clear of a wall, which in other games can be hard to actually know. Overall, I think Les Mills Body Combat VR is a great alternative to Supernatural for somebody who doesn't want a monthly subscription and just wants to buy a set of workouts that they can jump into every so often. And make sure to watch my review of Supernatural here if you want to learn more about that because Body Combat VR is very similar to it in many ways. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.